Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Grizzly Digital Network. It's a great day to be a Grizzly. We start the 2024 campaign here at home at the Grizzly Baseball Complex, and we come away with two victories, and he is our Grizzly of the, the day, our Game 2 starter, Mr. Gage Williams. Gage, first of all, let's get this out here. Congratulations, <laughs> a graduate of GGC. Graduate, baby. I think Scholar. you're one of the first to graduate and still have eligibility left, man. Yeah, what's, something out. what's life as a professional baseball player like? <laughs> Dude, no class, crazy. all baseball. No, no class until March. Got some online classes but life's good wake up come to the field hang out practice go home recover that's it life's pretty good <laughs> life's pretty day. good for him and the grizzlies we jump into the highlights here uh 2024 season upon us we play game number one against rush college at a mississippi tyler clayton gets his ball in game number one it's you're going to speak for him and you only 100%. today you are the only two players left from that 2021 National Championship squad. And there's yep. a reason the two of you got the ball the opening day. But when Tyler Clayton gets the ball, man, what have you guys been – what have you and him been talking about as leaders of this program these days? Uh, dude, it's crazy because we're throwing partners. So we throw together every day. We help each other with stuff. We actually had a really good talk yesterday about uh, cutter grips and whatnot. He's a dog. I mean, every time you give him the ball, it's lights out. Uh, we know what we're going to get out of him. Uh, we know he's a competitor. We know he's a beast on the mound. He goes on there, throws strikes, gets weak contact, fills up the zone. Simple. A lot of offensive returners in this lineup, mm -hmm. a lot of starting pitching coming back, but maybe the man that took the highlights and uh, took the headlines, I should say, in game number one, Paul Winland Jr., his first time in a Grizzly uniform, starts mm -hmm. at third base, three for three, three RBIs, two runs scored. Gage, tell me something about Paul I don't know. <laughs> Paul's a funny dude, man. I'll tell you what, dude loves some rock and roll. I swear he should he should have been born in the '70s or nice. maybe before. Lived through the '70s. Great dude, uh, classy guy. He he's just an absolute baller. He's always up here hitting uh, late late after practice or before practice. Uh, he just grinds. He's he's a great dude, great human being. Love having him here. And so with guys coming back like Tyler Clayton, now you mix in the new guys mm -hmm. like Paul. Coach Sheeninger told us this week this is the best team chemistry. He's ever had of by all far. the programs, by far, you say? By far. Why? <laughs> we just have selfless guys. We have guys that put their ego to the side and just push each other. Um, guys that love each other. We got a genuine connection between every player on this team, even the new guys that just came in a couple weeks ago. I mean, it, it feels like they've, they've been here since the fall. Uh, you know, you go through the Grizz week together, um, get killed out there a little bit, and <laughs> it, it just ties that bond like no other and it's just smiles and, and good vibes and just love for each other that you only find here Georgia Gwinnett. Tyler Clayton ties a career high with 10 strikeouts Dog. not to be uh, uh, outshined Blazo Saban five hits on the day in the doubleheader four runs scored two RBIs Grizzlies get the win 14 to 1 versus yeah. Russ and then Gage Williams my man here to my right gets a start in game number two Man, do you, do you still get nervous? Do you still get the energy? Do you still get the butterflies? What's the pregame feel look like? Uh, uh, a little bit before the game, you get the butterflies, but eh, it kind of just works itself out. Um, I've done it here a while. It's my fourth year. Um, I, the confidence is through the roof. Uh, we, we got guys that help you build your confidence, but ultimately I just build it uh, myself um, with the work that I put in. And I just go in there and do my thing. Um, good bad whatever i just know that i can trust the guys behind me um i can throw it in the heart of the plate and i know uh i got guys that don't make plays thankfully today i was lucky to not have too many balls put in play um but we just got a great team um absolute just dogs out there behind me and i love everything about it i'm gonna read between the lines there 12 strikeouts for gage williams not too many gloves needed defensively for the grizzlies but truly and honestly all three facets of the game get it done here today the grizzlies win the second game versus midway 12 to nothing joe quelch with a firework of a home run oh. three run shot off center oh. field and so gage two more questions i'm gonna get you on the spot here go. I, i've got three stats that mm -hmm. your, your staff not yeah. just gage your staff put together today do you know where okay. this is going Three hits, one run, 29 strikeouts. In between the two games? Between the two games and 14 innings of work. Which one's your favorite there? Three hits, one run, or 29 strikeouts for the pitchers today? I'll say the two wins, my favorite thing. Uh, yeah. Strikeouts, I, I got to go with the strikeouts. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you can't beat it. Uh, you know, when you, when you just got to – you get guys out and you don't have to worry about the ball getting put in play. Not that it's, it matters because we got guys that are going to make plays, but – 
We've been working. We got Fletch and uh, BD pitching coaches just literally just want us to have that bully mentality where we're just going to go out there and attack the zone, uh, not worry about the bat getting put onto the ball, uh, just go out there and compete and dominate the strike zone. Absolutely. Job well done by the Grizzlies and Gage Williams today. I've got the first shout out of 2024. How about in 2023, opening day, or Grizzly today, <laughs> Gage Williams. 2024, opening the day, The boys are giving Gage me smack on this. They're tired of me up here, but. That's my first shout out, my man, Gage Williams. It. Go you. ahead, take us home. <sighs> shout outs. Um, like you forgot this was coming. No, I was thinking about it on my walk up here, but, you know, you do forget. <laughs> uh, Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, first off, Absolutely. of course. Um, my teammates, 100%. Um, I wish all of them could have a Grizzly of the day today. Let's go. Love every single one of them. They're just ultimate team guys. Um, we got a great coaching staff as well, great trainers. Um, the fans aren't here with us today. They had, they had good weather to come see us. My family <laughs> back home, my dog Gunner, uh, Leonard Skinner for putting out Freebird back in, uh, I think, the 70s. Just banger yeah. of a song. It's, I think that's the team song for the year. Play Freebird, yeah. Um, saw my boys. Love them. Sounds good. Won't be yeah. the last time we've talked to Gage Williams. You guys, of course, too. Can't oh, no worries, no worries. We're GDN. here. We're, we're here, man. We're glad to be here. It's uh, our, our favorite time of the year time. with the spring season getting underway here, and we'll be right back with you guys tomorrow. A pair of doubleheaders, or should I say a doubleheader tomorrow with a pair of games, uh, 2 o'clock and 5 o'clock versus Midway and Russ. Gage, congratulations, my man. Go Grizzlies. That'll do it for us here. Go Grizzlies in Lawrenceville, Georgia, as we start the 2024 season.